Hello, and welcome back to Searching the Archives. Today I want to draw your attention to a short political essay entitled Live Not by Lies by Russian novelist Alexander Solzhenitsyn. Lies to Solzhenitsyn means false ideologies. I want to start by asking you, the viewer, a few questions. So maybe you've tested the air and you've noticed that it's blowing in a new way. It's blowing strong and there's new ideologies cropping up, all promising to bring about utopia as long as they can just shape and twist our current society into a new pattern. Maybe you think some of these ideologies are founded with some degree of merit, but something in your soul says something's not right. Maybe you turn on the news and you hear what they're doing next and it bothers you or it just seems a little bit wrong. Maybe you talk with your friends and your family about what they're doing next. I can't believe what they're doing. Did you see it too? If this all sounds familiar to you, I just want to say you've clicked on the right video because Solzhenitsyn has the remedy and it is very simple. Live not by lies. After being arrested and exiled from the Soviet Union for his writings and political thought, Solzhenitsyn releases this text with a list of about 10 rules about how to live the truth. How even the most timid amongst us can live by these rules and halt the advancing of new and faulty ideologies. I'll leave a link in the description so you can visit and read this short essay yourself. It's a quick read and it's worth your time. The beautiful thing is he's not calling for people to stand on a soapbox and scream the truth in the public square. He's simply asking you to not carry the water for things you don't believe in. Even if all is covered by lies, even if all is under their rule, let us resist in the smallest way. Let their rule not hold through me. In Dostoevsky's novel, The Brothers Karamazov, there's a very moving scene in which the debaucherous Fyodor Pavlovich is talking with Elder Zosima. And he's asking, Elder, what must I do to inherit eternal life? The monk smiles at him warmly and gives some fairly expected advice. Uh, Give up your lust, your drunkenness, your incontinence of speech. But then he says something quite unexpected. Above all, don't lie to yourself. The man who lies to himself and listens to his own lie comes to such a pass that he cannot distinguish the truth within him or around him, and so loses all respect for himself and for others. And having no respect, he ceases to love, and in order to occupy and distract himself without love, he gives way to passions and coarse pleasures, and sinks to bestiality in his vices, all from continual lying to other men and to himself. The monk continues reading Fyodor's soul and warns that if this is left unchecked and if Fyodor keeps lying to himself, he's going to wind up in a state of utter vindictiveness. Now, I know this has been kind of a serious video and I want to end with some words of encouragement. Virtue is contagious. And if you live by the truth, you will impact those around you and you will change the world. God bless you.